and then uses his long reach to try and clear, cannot. But Jackson Pearson with a good defensive play, and he'll spark something here shorthanded for Atlanta, and tight slides it across, they score! It's a shorthanded goal for the Gladiators, and they take the one nothing lead. You know, you face a goaltender that hasn't played in two months, and the first shot on goal beats him. But nice beneath the goal line. Pearson's got it right circle. Slapped on by Prokop. He scores! Luke Prokop, it's a power play goal. And 41 seconds into the middle frame, the Gladiators double their lead. I've talked about it so much that as of late, the Gladiators' power play has really become the Luke Prokop show. Outside of Cody Sylvester, he is the number one option. That's how lethal his shot was and is. And he just rifled that shot right through Fitzpatrick. So the Gladiators score 41 seconds into the period on the power play. Atlanta leads 2-0 over the Solar Bears. A goal in the first, a goal here in the second. Here's a nice takeaway by Robert Callisti, shorthanded. He'll work in two on one as he fights off Piakamatuka. He scores! Oh, Robert Callisti with an absolutely magical goal, shorthanded. And for the second time tonight, Wild down a man. The Gladiators score, and it's 3 0. Wow, Robert Callisti, that was something. Bianca Batuka was giving him so much trouble on the back check, and Callisti just kept skating. And for Tyler, here is Cox with a breakaway in for the Solar Bears, saved by Boyko! Oh my goodness, he got over with the blocker too! Josh Boyko making two saves on Ryan Cox. Excuse me, that's Ryan Cox, already mentioned, Holscher. For the Gladiators, shorthanded, they'll have Brendan Hoffman, Zach Yoder, and they score! to tying this game still down to 90 seconds left to go Fitzpatrick heads back to the bench now the Gladiators need to be concerned about winning the hockey game set in front they score again oh my 